This episode of Trials and Trebuchets is brought to you by Fanroll Dice. If you're in the market for some new, top-notch dice, and who am I kidding, folks? We're all always on the prowl for some shiny rocks. Then look no further than FanRollDice.com. Whether it's their bewitching liquid cores, a pack of trusty misfit metals, or even a set of oh-so-endearing miniature dice, you'll find anything you're looking for and more at FanRollDice.com. Com. And don't forget to use our code TRIALS10 at checkout for 10% off your order of new little crit machines. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 237 of Trials and Trebuchets. I'm your Dungeon Master, Luke, and joining me are my players. Well, hello there. My name is Ben, and I play the level 12? Yes. <laughs> Gnome Wizard Windsor Wallaby, along with his tiny little companion, it's Mr. Been Wiggles. It's so long. It's been, <laughs> I've completely blanked. I'm like, 12? Is that right? It's been 82 <laughs> years. Oh, hi. It's me, Carla. And I play the level 12 Tiefling Roguelock, Integrity Eye, Idleberry. <sighs> I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah, and I play Mira Marchand, the level 12 half-elf bard. Uh, why did uh, why did Crow volunteer for uh, illithid experimentation? He he found it less invasive than mm. being investigated for... Nope, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked it up. Uh, I fucked it up. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I had it in my head. <laughs> why did... We're I doing it live. We got this. Let's pretend that we didn't hear anything. I forgot the word. Why did Crow? Uh, why did Crow volunteer for uh, illithid experimentation? Why? Why? He found it less invasive than a tax audit. <laughs> That's what I forgot. You forgot, you forgot the word audit. audit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey there. Very I, dumb. I mean, fair enough. It's a, it's not a very easy word to remember. I'm sorry. The way my brain works is an oddity. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you there. My name is Sam. I play the level 12 human sorcerer, Sarah of Cinderman. If you look over here, you'll see our cage. If you look over <laughs> here, well, actually, if you don't go, don't look over there, but you'll hear the screams of our headmaster. Mm. <laughs> and last time on Trials and Trebuchets, the students suggested, shrank, and sleepified their way past a duo of guards, making their way down, down, down into the divination tower's bowels, descending the drained tank. They met with a caged and transformed Professor Doss, who warned to stay far, far from Crow. That's it? That's the end of that sentence. <laughs> Delving ever deeper, the students came across a cluttered map room showing off Western Agia and the starry skies above. Among the collection was a sacred Shioran scroll inscribed with the second tenet of priesthood and a carousel of constellations upon it. Stealing the scroll, the students were hit with a wave of overwhelming emotion emanating from the direction of their would-be rescuee, and in so following, heard loud cries from Crow beyond a laboratory doorway. That was a good one. There was like that a was lot a good of... one. They're hit or miss. Props to you. Great job. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The four of you find yourselves outside of one of these aperture-like doorways deep, deep, deep in the bowels of the Divination Tower in Our Lady of the Deep's former halls. There is this purple metal that coats the ground, the walls, the ceiling, the doors. There is this slight venation visible in the doors that you would know uh, appears there when it's open or about to open. From the other side, you hear the loud... Uh, although a bit vague at the moment, yells of uh, the unmistakable voice of one headmaster crow going on and on and on in an angered and loud tone. Would you all like to scooch a little closer and hear a bit? Or are you I... going to, by chance, hide in fear? Why the fuck would we hide? I, yeah. <laughs> I say yeah, we... I thought we were going to fucking run away. I say we investigate. Do? Yeah, we have a fucking to rescue. Okay, Dude's so screaming. Hide. Are you going to barge into the room or would you like to just mm, listen? I, don't, I think we would like to investigate just real quick first. Is that like what everyone thinks? Just like 
listen in as we walk towards the door? Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You tiptoe the four of you towards the door, ears puckered outwards, listening at your headmaster's words. That look off your face, Ben. <laughs> Good pucker in here. <laughs> what you hear from the other side is in an angered, loud, uh, booming, kind of echoing voice. Two years of half-baked projects, always riddled with impossible to foresee problems. What is it with you? I thought by lifting you up from the sludge, you would match my ambition, young. You would, you would come with me and you would help this company transform the world. And time after time after time, you prove that my faith in you is misplaced. You hear like on the edge of hearing, kind of like almost, uh, what could only be described as almost a whimper, not from Crow, but from some other uh, person beyond in the other room. No single project. Not a single one. Synthetic alchemy out the door. Inconceivable. Uh, living steel, you couldn't complete it. Yeah, they couldn't be done. <sighs> you were our, my, were my star artificer. And now every single problem arises due to your intervention. Now this one, now this one. A simple beacon, a simple task. I brought resources on to, to assist you to make this impossibility happen. And you failed me again. You have two hours to get this working. Two hours for it to be fully functional. Else your replacement will be immediate. Do you hear me, young? The copy you sent me is going to be tinkered with in your absence. On the off chance your own mistakes continue to confound you. I will send someone to collect a report in two hours. And it had better be done by then. Who do you think he's talking to in there? Someone sure. named Young from from the letters, I think. But but Runa's in there. What are they doing to her? Maybe Runa found something that she shouldn't have, and they incapacitated her. We need to go get her. Should we wait for him to leave, hide, and then barge in and do a rescue? We could we could wait here and ambush him if he walks out the door. I think it might be better not to know not to have him know our involvement right now when he's this mad. Exactly. Maybe we can even get Young on our side. Is there anywhere nearby? Because it seems to be just a straightforward hallway. Is there Correct. anything that one could hide like behind Wild Crow leaves or? Mm, that is a great question, Mira Marchand. Nearby, and along, dotted along this hallway, as I described last time, there are these aperture-like doorways, though most of them are almost like chained off and locked up. If you uh, had a way to get into one of those hallways or one of those other uh, rooms through the aperture-like doorway, that would be the easiest possible way for you to hide. Otherwise, it would be like trying to hide behind like uh, air, right? It is a <laughs> open, very uh, visible hallway. Uh, the next best thing would be to run like 40 meters back and just hide and hope that the curve of the hallway hides you good enough. Uh, but I don't feel like that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. hmm. Between where the room with the maps and everything were and here... Yeah. What, like, yeah. Or is it? Are those all chained, or were there like a couple of more open uh, doors? There was one other open doorway between here and there, which had a sign outside, which was the scrying pool. That's probably five minutes back at this point. Uh, okay. This okay, is that, a that's very that's large ring of a hallway. How when, high up is the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling is uh, roughly fifteen feet above you. It is a circular, like perfectly circular, fifteen foot wide. Where is the door in location to the ceiling? Uh, the door is on the side of the wall. The ceiling is on the top of the wall. <laughs> I know, but how far <laughs> apart is the door from the ceiling? Ah, uh, the door is the full span of the hallway. Uh, if you think of it, almost like pipes connecting. Uh, all of them are like the mm. same diameter. Hmm. I wonder if we were to hide on the ceiling, like, like just stick yourself to the like ceiling, stick to ourselves it, it to the tall ceiling, enough that you would have a chance of not being detected, and just yes. pray that he doesn't it look is, up. It is quite dark down here. That is true. That's a good idea. Is that what you'd okay. like to do? How can we get up there? Uh, how good is my levitate? <laughs> oh, yeah, you do have levitate, don't you? <laughs> I do. Um, the uh, spell can levitate a target that weighs up to five hundred pounds. Uh, but it looks like it's only one. Okay, and well, it doesn't have a powered up version where it can I, have multiple. I Unless can use I can use alter self on myself and give myself like I don't know 
claws to yeah cling to the <laughs> wall. The, okay, just, just offer yourself into a bird. <laughs> I was supposed to say I could polymorph. Levitated with Serenap then. It's only one. I mean, Serenap could oh. levitate one person. Because yeah, Winsler has the bird. Um, mm-hmm. You can always, um, if Serenap has it, you can always twin spell levitate. As far as I can, oh, okay. I'm aware. But what if like someone just like hugs Saren up like so hard <laughs> that they can just be levita- yeah. levitated? Winslow with is like Serenip. two pounds. I Winslow's mean, two pounds. He, he could do that. I, uh, the weight capacity on levitate is like five hundred pounds, so that, exactly. that's realistic. Uh, Mira and Integrity, you could uh, cling on for dear life and uh, engage that core to stay uh, up on the ceiling. <laughs> Whereas Winslow, you could sprout claws from your hands and feet and climb up if you would like. I that, would like I to do that. I think we can do it. I think, I think, yeah. I think this will work. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna mm-hmm. hug like everyone so tight, like a belt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and Mira, you you can walk over as well and uh, yeah. cling on for dear life. Uh, Saren, you, you can you uh, can s- uh, encircle yourself and sorcel yourself uh, and begin to float very slowly up off of the ground. Uh, you. Uh, dink into the ceiling and hang there like a balloon at a birthday party let go by a toddler uh, <laughs> wins the a wallaby fucking balloon ever from from <laughs> your hands and feet uh, oh. little hooks hook like claws uh, emerge as if you are a, a cat or like a squirrel or something some mundane <laughs> creature capable of climbing uh, you um, uh, yes fair enough I was just gonna ask um because I'm fig- cuz my brain is saying that crow is going to kind of go out. Mm-hmm. Is there like is there like more ceiling going down? Like does is this like the last door in the hall or is there like a little bit it more space? It is a perfectly circular like ring hall that goes around oh, the entire dang. bottom of that away. glass vessel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. there's hallway for uh, days as the kids say. Uh when you the wall be up. you sprout these claws from your hands and <laughs> Uh, climb up like a uh, <laughs> like a gnomish squirrel onto the ceiling. Uh, everyone makes stealth checks. Oh, shit. Sick. With advantage because we're helping each other out. Every fucking time. Really? <laughs> Sarah, oh my god. Sarah was here when I reminded everyone. Oh, Bra. Uh, <laughs> oh, there they are. Uh, <laughs> they were right um, there. I got yeah. a non-natural twenty. You got a non-natural twenty. Okay. Yeah. Twelve plus. What is my stealth? Plus six. Uh. What is that? 18. 18, a non-natural 20 and 18? I got a nat 20. Oh, nat 20. shit. So nice. 32. Shit. 32. <laughs> we are really good at this. Jesus. It I like- got a 22. Holy Yo! Oh, you guys are very successful. You all hang up here for some time. It's excellent, excellent, excellent. And after probably like 30 seconds, the moment that Winsor goes and slinks or uh, slithers his little like uh, gnomish body like a creature in the night, uh, uh, some unknown creature that hides in your garbage can and scares the fuck out of you. Winsor slinks up into the <laughs> ceiling uh, and the moment you all are resting and not moving anymore, you hold your breath and the door sludge, and that's the wrong word, slides open. Uh, emerging, you see one of these, very similar to that golem that had barred your way in the entrance, wearing uh, the heavy crow robes and then bandages around the head, the arms, the legs, that sort of thing. Uh, very obviously, to your knowledge now, a one of these golems, uh, like that gold-plated one that you had been futzing with, Winsler, the one you had, uh, that shrank and then put to sleep, etc. You see one of these, probably six feet tall, uh, walk out uh, with me- very mechanical little steps Cha 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 cha. You hear the heavy feet uh, clink on the metal beneath, and then tucked under their left arm is probably a um, basketball-sized ruby uh, that they are just holding. Uh, you do not see a uh, crow. Uh, this golem seems to exit into the hallway, waits for the door to close, and then marches off uh, towards darkness, uh, farther away, mm. presumably towards one of the doorways you would use to enter or some other exit that they have. You do not see Headmaster Crow. Once it gets further away, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say quietly. Maybe it was like a a projection of Crow. Oh, yeah. Do you like think maybe, maybe the here. maybe Crow is speaking through the golem? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think we just need to fucking like burst in there. Runa's in trouble. Yeah. If if it makes Crow mad, it makes Crow mad. I mean, I everything we do makes there. him mad. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of having to play nice. I think we got to do this. A life okay. is at stake. A life is at stake. Uh, Serenup, you drop to the ground. You're too, uh, you're 
burdens released. Windsor, you can uh, just crawl to the ground like a fucking goblin. Uh, or a gremlin, I would say, mm-hmm. rather. Uh, <laughs> and Mira, you can walk confidently forwards, head held high uh, towards this aperture-like door. The moment you get within like two feet of it, it whoosh, slides open, and the, the light from inside of this lab, the young lab, or uh, del- del- fucking hell, the young developmental laboratory, as it is posted on the right side of this door, uh, the light pours out from it, and you all kind of squint a little bit, ad- eyes adjusting uh, from the darkness outside. Uh, and within, you see a uh, wonderfully busy and uh, very cluttered uh, artificery lab, it would seem. Uh, it is kind of uh, elliptical-shaped, uh, in I would say, or, or if this would help your visualization, shaped like a hockey rink. Uh, with generally those same dimensions as well, elliptical or like a rounded, uh, a rectangle with round corners. Mm-hmm. Uh, you walk in, there's a central kind of like circular workbench, uh, that is just laden with m- m- big crates of brass and, uh, steel, uh, crates of rubies. You can see hung up on the walls, there's like what looks like ship sails and, uh, main masts, but they're just all scorched and seem to be like partially burnt as if they were in a fire or something of the sort. Uh, along like the right side of this room, there is like 16 mirrors. Uh, most of them, 15 of the 16 are just cracked uh, as if some th- someone had hit them with a hammer. It's just spider webbed out. Um, at the very far end of this room, there's like a small uh, kind of like cubby space at the back where you can see there's like four doorways. They're small uh, wooden doorways. Un- they look very unlike everything else that's been around Our Lady of the Deep's area, almost like they were tacked on afterwards. Um, and additionally, three more things, or a couple more things. In the very center of the room, there is a large uh, platform, almost like plinth, uh, upon which there looks to be some sort of like statue or uh, almost like a st- maybe like a street light kind of thing. It's probably seven feet tall. The bot it's completely made of brass. The bottom looks uh, not unlike one of those kind of like old school bird cages, you know, the one that's kind of like a dome. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, on top of it, there looks to be a probably two foot long uh, white crystal. Uh, that is like completely, uh, sh- it's not shining in the light. There's no light emanating from it. Uh, it's just this like dull crystal. It looks almost like the middle of like a, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, a peace lily. Like, you know, the little uh, stem that sticks out in the middle of it. It's kind of like a jagged little crystal. Oh. Uh, in the birdcage at the base, you can see a bunch of like little uh, purpley gray butterflies flying around in like a uh, clockwise circle. So, Standing at the base of this large uh, uh, statue, you can see... Oh, sorry. This is... Yeah. I, I just want to see if there's any connection in my head. So you said something about purpley butterflies. Yes. I remember ages ago when we were talking to Alma Alaro, there was something about purpley butterflies. Is there a connection mm, there? Is that, uh, Are we supposed to recognize this or am I just insane? No, no. Okay. <laughs> Those okay. were like purpley glowy mood lighting butterflies. All right. This is okay, just, okay. This is a different butterfly. But connection. Sure. Okay. Good connection. Good deduction. You know, sometimes they don't always hit, but great. I love the effort. <laughs> Standing at the base of this large seven foot uh, statue are one person you recognize and one person you do not recognize. They are both dressed in very similar clothes. Uh, The guy you recognize with brown hair and kind of like uh, palish skin, he's wearing his jumpsuit and it's like almost completely buttoned up. It's like this big baggy uh, brown kind of like it looks to be anti flammable kind of thing from your work in laboratories, Winsler. Uh, It's a big set of overalls. Uh, You recognize your roommate. Once a wallaby, uh, <gasps> Kurt or Lane, and he seems to be—he has this it. like very uh, the expression of someone who's just been uh, yelled at at work, mm. almost like a very sallow expression of like like shock in the eyes, almost like uh, gazing off into the middle distance. Next to him, chatting very quietly, you see a person you do not recognize. He has reddish pink skin. Uh, he's wearing almost the same outfit as Kurt, except the overalls are kind of pulled down so that they're only like pants and he has like the top part wrapped around his waist. Like you would wrap a sweater around your waist almost. Uh, under And then instead of wearing a jumpsuit on the top, it's just like a kind of uh, stained tank top. Um, he has this pink 
reddish skin. He has this broad, nostrilless kind of nose and these long, pointed ears. Uh, I don't know how familiar all of you are with goblinoids, but if you are to be familiar, we'd recognize this uh, as a hobgoblin. Uh, you might recognize or not. He has this uh, jet black hair pulled back into like a top knot. The shape, the sides are completely shaven or bald, and then he has this like. A greasy past pasty mustache and goatee combo that it doesn't really work for him uh, but it might just be because he hasn't been he's been working too much I They're can already tell like... the fans are going to want to fuck this guy so bad <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> the two of them are talking very quietly um, until the moment that you guys walk in and they will turn to regard you uh, Kurt with that shock on his face ever growing uh, and this other person who you might infer to be young from all context clues provided with a very puzzled expression upon his face. The final note before I'll get to what they say to you upon entry is on either side of them in the, like the middle of the room on the left and right there stands almost like sentries these uh, golems. Uh, dressed in that same uh, cloth mm. that all these other golden golems had been dressed in, the black crow with the bandages. Uh, the one on the left is probably like six foot seven and very thin. The one on the right is probably five foot six, but has these large golden horns emanating up from the, almost like antenna up from the bandages. They are just staring straight. They don't seem to acknowledge your guys' presence whatsoever. And are either, is anyone in this room pinging as Runa? Like has uh, Runa been golemified or something? <laughs> no oh, one no. in this room is pinging at Runa. The ping from Runa, which is going to dissipate very shortly, is coming yeah. from across the room through the rightmost doorway that you can uh, see, see on that okay. back cubby. Okay. okay. The moment you all enter, oh, there's one other thing I must, uh, another thing I missed from Young's uh, description. Around his neck is like a big uh, amulet on a golden chain. It has a fat topaz stuck into it. Like a topaz that's probably like six inches diameter, uh, like beautifully cut, set yes. into this golden uh, uh, amulet around his neck. But the moment you all, Mira, the moment you stride in confidently, Kurt turns to look at you with a very shocked, sleep-deprived expression, and this hobgoblin will, will turn to look at you. His eyes go wide, and he has this, he stops talking, and he just holds his hands up, and he'll go, oh, excuse me, uh, sorry. And he puts a hand up to Kurt as if Kurt's about to say something. He goes, no, no. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I don't, I think you're lost, maybe. I think you might be looking for... A different uh, a room down here? Are you, you're not even dressed? Do you have clearance to be down here? Kurt? At all? Kurt, what are you doing down here? Uh, Kurt kind of pushes or moves his body around and goes, what, Winslow, what, what are you doing down here? I, you were, uh, what? And he, he's like glancing between uh, Young and you and Young and you. He goes, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. And he starts to move towards you and Young puts a hand out and he goes, stop. Let me deal with this, okay? Just back off. Is this is this what Crow? Excuse me, hi Kurt. What did you do to Runa? Where is she? The four of you really need to leave right now. Uh, this is this, you're cutting it. They're cutting into the time. He looks at a big like p clock hung on the side of the wall that's just like ticking down the seconds. Uh, it's almost like a, a swim clock where it only shows like the sixty seconds going by and not like actual time. And he goes, "You th you four really need to leave immediately. You can talk with your friend once he's done his contract." I don't really care here. what I'm, gonna, what's I'm about going to lose my job. You. Okay, so I need you all to just cooperate with me a little bit. Okay, please. I don't care about your hey, job. I need answers. Somebody. Calm down. Why is Kurt down here with you? Is this okay. what Crow contracted you're not, you're you to not do? You're not going to get answers. And he snaps his fingers. And the two golems on either side of the room kind of like stand up alert and will turn over towards you guys. Uh, I need everyone to roll initiative. God, Yay! No. Damn it, I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. <laughs> I feel so Fuck. bad. We're gonna be pretty Okay, golems? that's an eight total. Fuck. That's a seven. Jesus, guys. Oh, uh, that's a 12. Well, I rolled a four, so. You got a 12? I got a 12. Okay. All right, we can't hurt Kurt. We need Kurt no, alive. Why not? Don't Kurt. Kurt. use Kurt. chain lightning. Got it. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to absolutely destroy Young. I got eleven. Oh, Jesus, y'all. Oh my God, we're low rolling today. Damn. We well, didn't really put on the sneak. That just now means we, we get to go first uh, at the end of the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Reverse. Let me open my books and get everything. Forget so the low rolls go first. Yeah. Moves. Yeah, that's how it works. It's like golf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like golf. You want a low score. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Up first in initiative is the artificer, Young. Ugh. He is going to turn and put his hand on Kurt's chest, and he's going to say, I need you to sit out of this for like 
two minutes. And he's going to give him a very big push backwards uh, towards one of those doors in the back of the room. Kurt stumbles backwards, like stammering and like looking at you. And he goes, no, 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 let me. And then he falls backwards into one of these cupboards. The doors slide open. Kurt falls into him. You hear him fall into like a pile of metal and uh, gems Ow. and they spill everywhere. And the doors whoosh, slide shut, Damn, we don't uh, get to kill locking him, him We away. have to give him tetanus shots again. You've drawn my ire. Us. Prepare to die. <laughs> uh, so now at this point, Young is going to, Young walks very cautiously towards the back of the room, very far away from all of you, about, 60-ish feet away from all of you, um, standing on the stairs right before that kind of, like, back nook, and he's going to say, this is only going to happen because of your presence here. You can leave at any time, um, but it's a great test to see if everything's working properly. And then you see him hold up, like, a little remote and press a button. The uh, fuck? And that statue in the middle of the room where the butterfly or the butterfly moths were going counterclockwise or going clockwise and it wasn't glowing you see as soon as he touches that button the all of those start going counterclockwise the, the butterflies begin spinning in the other direction and the big gem on top begins to shine a bright bright lilac kind of purple oh shit uh and that's his turn up next siren of the cinderman you are at the entryway to this room uh, the golems are probably, let's say, 35 feet away from you. Uh, okay. Young is 60 feet away at the end, other side of this room. What would you like to do? Turned on the weirdest fucking machine. Okay. Um, I am going to, I'm, I think I'm going to actually switch up. We're not going to destroy everything right away. I'm going to make that promise now. By all means. You're instead going to use, uh, I want to try and use, not Ice Storm, not Ice Storm. No, 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 no. I was going to say uh, it's a 60-foot cone from me, Cone of Cold. Oh, shit. Oh, Cone of Cold. Uh, yeah, that would at this point only be able to hit Young as the two golems are on the side of the room and would be slightly out of your cone's uh, spread. Okay. Is that okay? Uh, could I move myself to... Because I think that, I think weirdly enough, the golems might also just add a lot of issue if we're mm -hmm. gonna like try and stop them as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. From where you're standing now, if you didn't want to move, you could mm -hmm. either aim it right or left and get either the tall golem or the horned golem and young, or you could just run up into one of their faces and just blast <laughs> that cone out. You could get all three like that. I'm tempted to go for all three. I'll run. Yeah. I'll run up. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. As you run forwards, uh, five feet, ten feet, no problem, and then you take another step. And it's almost like you enter into the glow of that statue in the center. Uh, and your brain, you feel like this dagger shoot into your brain. I need Ooh. you to make an intelligence saving throw for me. Oh, no. You know, I really should have looked at the, the glowing light and been like, ah, mm, should probably avoid that. Listen, you should have fall, you shouldn't have fallen for the bait of me being like, you oh. can get all three of them. I did, though. And I rolled really <laughs> badly for this. And I got... Uh, I got a seven. Oh. Mm, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, first and foremost, you feel like this knife shoot into the back of your head. Uh, not literally, psychically. Uh, just take 11 psychic damage. Okay. That's all. And you are now oh. under the effects of a nifty, cool, fun spell that everyone loves and thinks is great. Oh, okay. Um, called Feeble Mind. Oh, oh, oh no. Sarah Cinderman, oh, no. your intelligence and charisma is set to, is now one. Oh no! You oh. cannot cast spells. You cannot activate magic items. You can not understand language or speak or communicate in any intelligible way. Communicate? Shit. You can identify friends, follow them, and protect them. Got it. Shit. Shit. So okay. you walk into this and immediately your head is filled with this almost like fog you can just hear so loudly the sound of like flapping wings and like your eyes like roll in your head as every word you've ever known escapes you every th and your thoughts become the most basic possible thoughts imaginable uh that's 15 feet of your movement what would you like to do with the other 15 feet uh so wait i can still like use like my weapon like hit things yeah right? You can hit okay. things. Absolutely. So I think I'm going to, because uh, like, I think I take the first couple steps, get hit, the magic on my hand just stops glowing completely, mm -hmm. and instead I grab my comet staff Okay. to just Absolutely. hit this thing in the crystal. 
Absolutely. You stagger the next 15 feet towards it and kind of like raise this thing up. Go ahead and make an attack roll, uh, which uses your strength. And it's a staff, so I believe you have proficiency in that. Uh, I so do. add your proficiency modifier. Oh, that actually went much better. Uh, so okay. I got a, because uh, I have my attack bonus mm -hmm. on there. So that is a 24. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm uh, surprised uh, yeah. too. A 24 lands soundly. Uh, which of the golems did you want to run towards? The tall one or the horned one? I'm going to go after the horned one. Absolutely. Damn, going after the cousin. Uh, you <laughs> run up to this uh, uh, horned uh, golem and swing the comet staff, uh, kind of lethargically, but with a with a with a force behind it. Uh, go ahead and roll your like one d six damage for it, please. <laughs> Damn right. Uh, that's a six. Absolutely. And it's uh, plus one bludgeoning if that helps in any way. Oh, absolutely. Perfect. Uh, it takes seven damage. Uh, you feel like as the com as you hear the sand of. Uh, hit this golem with it. You hear like a ding kind of ring out from its hollow body. It does not look uh, perturbed by that damage uh, whatsoever. Uh, Seraph, that's the end of your turn. Up next is Integrity Idleberry. What would you mm. like to do? I would like to. You all see, run... to be clear, you all see Seraph kind of like enter this state of like slack jawed Dave. lethargy. Dave. So we can assume, okay, cool. Yes, I was gonna you, ask that. You, so. know, you notice that something has happened when she stepped into that light. Uh -oh. Perfect. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to go towards towards that light. Are they there, though? Like, um, Young, is is he, like, on the light or just right outside of he it? He is on the other side of this room, standing, like, 10 feet outside the light. Okay. So here's what I want to do. I yes. want to cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, attacking, like, the two... Um, Golems. Uh, what do you call that? Golems. Of and course. And Young. Young. Just hitting all three. I'm just hitting all three. Okay, what's it look like when you cast it? Okay, so I want to use it to hurt them and cause it cause a distraction mm. because I want to run towards them, preventing like myself getting into the light, and I want to use my bonus action to dive into like a bunch of the crap that they have mm -hmm. to hide. Okay. If you myself. want to dive into like the pile of stuff that is like, yes. the center of the room, that is well within the light of this uh, beacon. Uh, to do within. so, you would have yes. Okay. The only there... ways around it would be to go the exact yeah. like outside of the room, and that is where like okay. the both of the golems are standing and kind of like guarding the sides from you guys okay. getting around that way. Well. That's fine. I'm fine okay. being close to one of them. By all means. Um, so you run and like throw your hand out, shooting these inky bolts of eldritch energy out at each of the enemies. Uh, and yes. you're running presumably towards like next to Serenup. Um, I want to be next to Serenup. Okay. You also run help. over towards this horned one on the right side of the room. Yes. Uh, Integrity, make your all your three of your attack rolls, please. I can do that. Um, so I have two 17s. Okay. And a 15. Okay. Who are you hitting with what? Um, let's go with 17 for the horned one, the mm -hmm. one or the tall one that's close to us. Okay. 15 for the horned one. Okay. And then and the other 17 to young. Yes. Okay. So those hit the horned one. Or sorry, those hit the tall one and uh, young. The other one misses. It just hits into. It glances off uh, the front of these robes. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll good. your damage. Kill them. Leave nothing left. Bam. That is a. Ooh, that is a an eight. <laughs> okay. And a twelve. Okay. Ooh. Uh, this. Uh, I think I messed it up. This horned golem. Uh, takes that it takes that eight damage integrity. That is the one that Sarah had run up to. My apologies. Uh, you hit that. It does. It takes eight damage. The other, the twelve damage shoots out. This inky bolt of energy uh, begins to. It looks like it's gonna hit young center mass cleanly uh, as it hits him in like the stomach. Uh, a shimmering golden kind of field around him, just like completely coating his skin, emanating from that amulet around his neck, seems to mm. glow. And then you see him take noticeably less damage than you think he did. Uh, okay. At the same time, each of these golems glows with a similar radiance at identically the same moment. Uh, and you see both of them take on a little bit of uh, wear and tear of their own uh, as they will be each taking a uh, part of that damage. You, oh. You know. oh. 
Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then I hide. As okay. And then I hide. <laughs> and then you then hide. hide. Yeah, you hide next to Serenith. Make a stealth She's check. She's so tall. She's, She's so, so tall. fucking tall. Make a stealth check with this. I'll predict you, cousin. But I don't say that. I'm just like, ah. I mean, okay. But you literally said that Serenith's here to help. So her helping me is um nope not no <laughs> no i can like disadvantage i think i'm it is disadvantage. Only, you're hiding in plain kind of sight protected by okay, on my that's still a 16 okay a 16 because i rolled behind. a four for uh, the lowest one yes. you hide behind this uh horned golem Dude. has the dukes raised and doesn't seem to address you as a threat up next Mira Marchand, what would you like to do? All right. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm not going to move. I'm I'm more than happy where I am. Okay. I am <laughs> going to start strumming on my lyre. And mm -hmm. as I do, these glowing uh, like musical notes start playing. They lift off of my lyre. And they the, this ethereal glow, I think, travels towards Serenep mm -hmm. and tries to kind of wrap itself like above her head, almost like this ethereal crown. Mm -hmm. And then I play this last final note. And I think these notes kind of like shatter and rain over her head, trying to restore her, her thoughts as I am going to cast uh, Dispel Magic. And I believe the DC mm -hmm. for this is going to be 18, right? Feeble uh, Mind is an 8th level spell? 10 plus the level. Yes, that is 18. Please and thank you. Okay. Let me just mark off spell slot. Okay, and that is an ability check with my spellcasting modifier. So that doesn't include proficiency, right? It's just plus no, five? No, it's just charisma. All right, I thought so. Cool. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> damn. Uh, I rolled a two, so that's oh, only a damn. seven. So okay. sadly, I don't think the, the spell is dispelled. Serenup Cinnamon, you hear like the barest of notes strumming uh, strings piercing this veil of fog and then your eyes roll around it's almost like your ears cloud over almost like there's an overwhelmingly loud uh, you know the sound when the vacuum cleaner is running and you cup over your ears and it sounds like like dull yeah. it's like that sound as the notes uh, beat off of your brain and do nothing uh, to heal you uh, integrity mirror marchand what else is that it for your turn or no 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 um, well I'm not going to give Serenip any encouraging words because she doesn't <laughs> seem to understand speech but what I <laughs> will do is try to play uh, finally a soothing melody directed toward her as I will okay. regardless now that you can't cast spells and you can still do attacks give you a d10 of bardic inspiration which yeah. you may still be able to use does bardic inspiration necessitate that the person has to understand you I do not know oh. I don't That's think so great, but let me it double check fe it doesn't feel you like it does you can inspire others through stirring words or music mm -hmm. to do so you use a bonus action on your turn to choose a creature other than yourself who can hear you okay I think she can hear uh, music. she just can't understand yeah, it's, I mean, I can, yeah. That's yeah, so I can play music people, that yeah, is people inspiring people can enjoy music if they, even if they dumb um, yeah. <laughs> absolutely Sam you gain cool. a d10 of inspiration and you feel uh, those dull notes around you drifting around they're adding to the thrum of noise within in your head, pounding on your brain, uh, almost threatening a headache, uh, but you feel inspired, strangely. Okay. No, you don't know what inspiration is, but you feel it. Uh, Mira, <laughs> is that it for your turn? Yes. Standing dead center in the doorway. Uh, cool I do not want to move toward that light. <laughs> Winsler, Wallaby, what mm. would you like to do? Hmm. So it feels like magic is not really going to be that effective against Young because he's got that fancy amulet around his neck. Right hmm. now. Good oh, thing no. I have this weapon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, how far away is um, Integrity from me? Integrity is uh, 30 feet away from you right now. How far away is Young from me? Young is 60 feet away from you right now. Ah. <laughs> 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 well, this Sorry, sucks. I didn't mean to cackle rudely. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Let me see what I can do here. God, do I have. I really don't have any like teleportation shit anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, that sucks, man. Well, for He's now, what I'm going to, to do you. is uh, I'm going to run over to Integrity. Okay, skirting um, around the left side of the room, I presume, or the right side of the room. If I were to take one of her knives, is that going to count oh. as an action? Uh, I'll let that count as like a bonus action. Okay. Uh, I'm, so like, <laughs> like you walk, run up to her, uh, skirting the right side of this room, staying out of that light, like tiptoeing around it, trying <laughs> not to <laughs> trip into it. And then you run up like, you're all in a line right now and you like smash into her back and then like, uh, like reach around and she's like, what are you doing? And then you like grab a normie ass dagger from her belt. Absolutely. Uh -huh. As long as integrity, that's okay with you. Is that fine? Can I take I a dagger? I presume you have daggers to spare. Uh, I do have daggers to spare. It's just surprising. Oh. I'm sorry, Integrity. I just need just to like borrow a hand this. Just showing up in there. <laughs> Windsor, you grab a knife, old, but 
with a keen edge. It is a Maybe weapon. It'll it. it'll serve <laughs> me well. And we'll now some citrus. I'm going to pull from my bag yes. a few hairs from a bull. <laughs> and I'm yes. going to uh Eat them? imbue these um <laughs> hairs from a bull with magic and crush them and use them to empower myself as I cast <laughs> Tensor's Transformation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <What's>, uh, <laughs> when's Wallaby? First and foremost, what the fuck does that spell do? <laughs> you endow yourself with endurance and martial prowess fueled by magic. Until the spell ends, you can't cast spells and you gain the following benefits. You gain 50 temporary hit points. Jesus. If any of these remain when the spell ends, they are lost. You have advantage on attack rolls that you make with simple and martial weapons. When you hit with a target with a weapon, that target takes an extra 2d12 force damage. You have proficiency with all armor, shields, simple weapons, and martial Damn. weapons. You have proficiency in strength and constitution saving throws. You can attack Damn. twice instead of once when you take the attack action on your turn. You ignore this benefit <laughs> if you already have a feature like extra attack. I do not. That's a lot. <laughs> Is that it? I am God. Okay, Winsler, as you crush these hairs and strength pour, I imagine it like we see like the veins on like your... Uh, forearms and your biceps like bulge out as your strength <laughs> increases uh, and like a little magical glow like emanates from you uh, like as if you are going uh, a Dragon Ball Z character. Uh, <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> I that love your, that. that. That was your bonus action and then your action to cast I believe. Yes. yes. Okay. And so it. you so stand I... here this physical force pouring <laughs> off of you in waves. You all feel his physical presence so strong and uh, <laughs> constitutional. Yeah, constitutionally. Uh, that's so it for I your turn? I will position myself near the horned one, I believe. Absolutely. That's the one that we are next yes, to. You uh, are. They are not my true target. However, <laughs> I will strike when the time is right. <laughs> okay. Oh Up next, the tall golem looks over at the three of you on the other side of the room and dismisses you and like you see these like yellow topaz goggles Mira like glint in the light as it regards you it's one true foe uh it marches towards you and as it very slowly does it just raises a hand uh it, it a clobber in hand one might say with its left hand it tries to reach out and like grab you by the front of your shirt could you make an oh. acrobatics or athletics check uh oof, to avoid being grappled by this thing yeah i can do that uh, I will make acrobatics because I have a plus 10 to that. Okay. What the fuck? Oh. I rolled another two. That's a 12. Yo, it got a 20. So that's a 22. Uh, it grabs you All by right. the front of your shirt, uh, grappling you. Your speed is now zero. Um, no. You know, the typical grappling things. And then with its right hand, it's going to try to punch you as hard as it can. Just like, oh my God. Hand, like right well, in your Well, my AC is a 13. So I'm going to assume that's going to hit. I have to do the math on that. That's a 17 to hit, Mira Marchand. Um, yeah, that's it. That's going to be a measly 12 bludgeoning damage as you it punches you in the face. Your head rings around a little and like you blink uh, seeing stars for a second. Uh, and it, it continues this grappling. It uh, stands a couple I'm of inches taller than you. Yeah. A golem can't be poisoned, can they? No. <laughs> um, can they? Make if a... they're, they're made of brass, so you can, can you poison you can... brass? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know if like poison like could rust it or something. Mm -hmm. I don't. I do not know. On your turn, you can make a free Arcana check if you'd like. Well, um, it's a, because it would be a reaction. That's why I'm asking. Oh, you. Ah. I cannot provide you this information at this time, but you can feel free to try. No, I shan't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will uh, not the try. other golem, the horned golem, cracks its metallic knuckles uh, and then is going to try to push you to the side, staring up like push you into the light. Oh, no, that's a silly move. Um, are they already in the light? You are kind of in the light. It's going to punch you in the gut. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. With its big clobber, it. big clobber in hands. Does a 21 hit? Yes. How did you know? Oh, that's, uh, that's going to be uh, 14 bludgeoning damage as it just oh! hits you in the gut as hard as you can. You see Ow. this, you feel this primal rage, uh, like a bestial rage as it you, you take uh, mm. damage. Uh, uh, Integrity, Idleberry, you are hidden. Windsor Wallaby, it sees you. Uh, the goggles glint once more, and it reaches out uh, with its right hand to grasp you as well. Uh, could you make a uh, athletics or uh, acrobatics check to avoid being grappled? God damn, this is rolling good. <laughs> athletics? 
athletics, which I believe you uh, get proficiency and strength and strong saving throws. Ah, so. sorry, my friend. Then yeah, uh, just normy ass Winslow athletics. Then I can't believe getting well, punches. How I'm gonna good. die in this? Uh, that's a six. Perfect. It reaches past Serenap and past a hidden integrity and grabs you around the collar, like almost like throttling your throat and picks you up like two feet into the air, uh, holding you there for its next turn. Um, fantastic. Uh, at the end of their turns, these two golems, you see like that golden shimmer coat their bodies again and like there's small cuts in the robes from where they got eldritch blasted uh or Sarah, where you hit it with your staff mends completely it seems as though they regain uh some hit points at the end of their turn mm. oh shit uh that's it for them and it's back around to your main guy young uh he's yeah, not our main good. guy he's my main guy I don't want him to be my man. Uh, Young, on his turn, is going to regard all of you. He pulls from, like, a pocket in his jumpsuit a small scroll, almost. He unfurls it. You can see it, like, glowing bright blue at him as, like, a brilliant magic rune shines upon him. He utters a single draconic syllable, and then the scroll crumples to a dust, uh, and emerging from it is this brilliant uh, blue glowing energy that just shoots out and arcs towards uh, everyone within 90 feet, which is all of you. Damn. Uh, these massive... Uh, spikes of lightning. Uh, could you all make constitution saving throws? Please and thank you. I have advantage. Ooh. It's, if it's um, lightning, it's not that. Not 21. 21. Was constitution one of the ones that I was affected by? Uh, Negatron. Okay, it was only perfect. charisma and intelligence. Uh, so saving throw, that is 14 plus 7. Fuck. 21. 21, okay. 21, 21. Non-natural 20. Wow, Yo! y'all are doing great. Oh no! Oh no! What, what's my modifier? Cool, that's a six total. Ah, oh six God. total. Excellent. So this, yeah, I rolled a four. This, the golden uh, lightning arcs out, or this blue lightning arcs out to every single one of you. Uh, three of you succeeded on the, the save, so you'll be taking half damage. The other of you, Mira Marchand, you, it overwhelms you, and it, you feel like some of your clothes. You see it start to like, almost like age and turn to dust and crumple away a little bit. Oh. Um, you feel like the your elbows get all ashy My and arm gross. is made of metal. Yeah, like... you feel you can see rust start to form on, on the brass or corrosion Ooh. at the very least as it seems to be some sort of magic oriented around uh, aging you uh, by some means, some sort. Let me, oh, do I not have enough of these dice? One, two, and I'm also, three, because four. of my draconic heritage and Lightning. Should be okay. Should, should be okay. Eight? Eight. Perfect. Let me make some space. Eight. It's been a while That's since a I rolled. I haven't rolled dice in so long. That's a lot of dice. Yikes. Oh, God. Well, it's not... Oh, it's not that... <laughs> Like it's like I think about to say, oh, it's not that bad, but then just like stops himself. It's a lot like, of wait, ones. Actually, let me read this again. Good, good, that's good. Not, right. good. That's, not so, that's not fucking right. Yeah, it's fine. Mir Marchand, please take twenty-four lightning damage. Oh, uh, okay. the okay. rest of you take twelve. Uh, Saren Cinderman, I believe it's uh, it's a reduced number from that. Correct. I believe it's also half again because of my draconic draconic heritage. Some might say. <laughs> <laughs> Not us, though. We say something else. Uh, as as he casts this, as Young casts the spell, uh, it crumples in his hands, and he kind of like <sighs> breathes a sigh of relief as he like looks up out and he goes, "Okay, it's going." He looks specifically to you, Sarah, and goes, "Okay, so it worked on organics. That's not fantastic." And he pulls out like a little notebook and he starts scribbling notes completely ignoring the fact that there's still a fight raging on. He seems uh, carried away with writing his notes. I did Up also next. save on my con save to keep my concentration. Fantastic. Yeah. I didn't even remember that you had to fucking do that. I thought yeah. you were just a warrior now, you know, a fighter. <laughs> next, Serenip the Cinderman, it's you. You're still mm. standing in the light, this purple uh, lilac light. Uh, the horned golem is right in front of you. Uh, it just punched you in the gut. Uh, what mm. Your cousin is hiding in your shadow, watching your every move, but not touching into the lilac light. Uh, Winsler is right there, grabbed by the collar. What would you like to do? So the golem has... Okay, mind you, Serenip doesn't yes. understand yes. this shit. Um, I understand but friend and foe. I understand that part, at least. Um, but seeing as this thing is holding Winsler... Yes. By the arm, like with yes. its arm, could I try and like hit the arm where hit it looks the, the weakest? And make him drop him to like absolutely. yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Hell yeah, bonk, just bonk it, break its arm. Uh, that I'm always is saying this, break their arms. 
Uh, this is a 16? A 16 to hit? Yeah. Uh, you, br- you raise this uh, comet staff above your head and slam it down on the arm. You hear a hollow tongue as if you had just hit a bell. Uh, the arm does not budge by any means, and the yellow eyes, the yellow goggles of this golem drift over its right shoulder, or its left shoulder as it stares uh, daggers at you. It does I not hit. That does not hit. It daggers right back at uh, it. Is that it for your turn, or would you like to move? Um, I want to, because my, my, I think my thing is, like, protect friends, so, like... Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and, like, move myself in a way that I'm just trying to, like, push my, like, physically push myself between the golem and a Winsler. Absolutely. In, uh, Sarah and Simner, you take a step forwards out of the light and kind of, like, start to try to almost, like, push them up, both of them against the wall, and try to physically assert yourself, push around, get get to get, stick your elbows out, really get in there. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. And you exit from the light. The buzzing in the back of your head attenuates ever so slightly, by like 25% if you could do math. But you can't. If you Up next do math. is Integrity Idleberry. You've that hidden in the shadows harsh. of your cousin. She has just moved forwards and bull char, bull rushed these folks. Winsler is being held by the collar or held by the neck and he's like ah, 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 uh, squirming, but he still looks so physically powerful. It's a whole mixed bag. <laughs> yeah. Integrity, you're hidden. What would you like to do? Um... I would like to grab my squall yes. um, and considering that I was there when Winsler was teaching about golems, like, the golems and mm-hmm. be like, ah, this is their source of power, yes. blah, 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 blah. Um, I would like to cast Booming Blade um, mm-hmm. onto my blade. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, and I would like to hit where um, like a possible weak point is here's the possible weak points i'll give you the gems okay. are mega we- omega weak points and also we had previously uh, talked about it in the last episode there's like a set of like almost uh wires running along where the spine ought to be mm. that you could probably stat try to stab through the stomach or slash along the back if you wanted to go after that weak point I would love to do that. Absolutely. Go ahead and make Thank your you. attack roll as your uh, lightning-shaped dagger wreaths in thunderous wind and uh, magic, and you jump out on the left side and try to, getting around back from this golem and try to like, stab it in its golemy spinal colum. column. <laughs> that is a 27. A 27 hits. Go ahead and roll your damage, uh, your booming blade damage, and your sneak attack, please and thank um, you. Yes. I Which already is have the a dice bajillion right damage. Now. I was one off getting a double. Freaking annoying. Oh, you almost um, got a crit. You got a 19? Yes, you got to say did. that information. We don't know. The mm-hmm. audience I got a 19. Build the drama. Um, Ugh, that sucks. <laughs> Hate to see it. D4. Damn. Uh, D5s. And then Booming Blade is 2D8. This is that feeling we were talking about before recording. Yeah. A million dice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. This is your moment. Mm-hmm. Destroy it. Yes, cut this thing's spinal column. Kill this poor, innocent golem. I mean, you're trying, it's, it, it's grabbing okay. him by the collar. So, I can't really call it innocent right now. 26 plus a 1 and a 4. Plus 5, so 31. 31. Okay, Damn. 31 damage. Uh, you stab this thing in its spinal column. The knife... Chink, 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 cuts through the metal uh, unnaturally. The magic slices through. You feel two or three or four or five of those bundle of cables. Just the tension snips. You hear like the breaking of steel wire. That sound of like high tension cable being like ting released. Uh, it, the, you see like the golem almost like spasming uh, as as you stab it in the back, uh, dealing a incredible amount of damage. Uh, it's going to. Make a constitution. Oh, uh, Winsland Wallaby, the hand around your neck, uh, it almost like it unintentionally releases and you fall back to the ground as it uh, releases you uh, due to the amount of damage integrity just did to it. Do you say anything cool? Thank you for saving me. <laughs> <laughs> His voice booms. So powerful. <laughs> um, um, I would also like to move forward. Um, okay. I'm g- uh, like I trust my friends that they got okay. this. Um, I'm gonna move forward towards young. Towards young. Okay. Um, uh, would you like to use your oh, booming blades a bonus action, right? You can use your action in no. Disenga- no, booming blades an um, action. Booming blade is an action. Okay, you can use and, your like, bonus action and disengage, is... or you can just take the hit. What would you like? 
Um, I would like to disengage Absolutely. and run towards you. You do like a little back roll away, like some backward somersault away as Winslow's like, thank you! <laughs> uh, you do like a little uh, uh, salute and you uh, r- sprint 30 feet towards Young. You are 10 feet away from him. He is not minding, he not, does not pay attention to you whatsoever. He is writing, scribbling, muttering to himself. He's like, maybe if we modify the plan. Uh, he's just muttering to himself, writing in his uh, work log. Mira Marchand! Yes, I'm being being held by the collar. Grabbed. Well, I can still cast spells. I just don't have any movement. Uh, So I'll stick with this for now. It's fine. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, (laughs) Okay, I have an idea for for the spell descriptor, but it's kind of dumb, (laughs) which I think is the best idea, which is uh, I'm going to look over to my uh, my newly buff friend, Winsler Wallaby, (laughs) and I'm going to be like. Hey, you're so cool. You're so strong. I bet you could be so fast too. And uh, oh. Mira is going to start uh, strumming. And I like the idea that again, like these musical notes, uh, mm-hmm. these spectral musical notes materialize and almost like, you know, like the circular bit of the, the visual notes, like stick to Winsler's skin, almost like like a coat on a cheetah yes. as yes. I cast oh haste on Winsler. So oh cool. my Amazing. God. So, little phalanges sticking up and almost like pointing back as if wind is blowing them their flags. So Sadass. this is too much power. Winsler, uh, <laughs> your speed is doubled. You have plus two to your AC. Uh, oh. You have advantage mm-hmm. on dexterity saves no. and you get an additional action on each of your turns, which you can use to attack, dash, disengage, hide, no. or use an object. Oh, fuck. That's crazy because now I can make four attacks. That's the fucking. And Boo is back. Boo Bolero has returned in the Boo flesh is back. <laughs> and I am also going to look to Winsler and I'm going to be like, you're so awesome. And I'm going to give you, <laughs> as well, a D10 of Bardic Inspiration. Okay, oh my okay. God. I, will, I will not let you down. So sick. So sick. <laughs> And okay. I can't make any movement. That is my turn. Correct. That's okay. fine. You just, okay. you, just, you just hang there. Uh, Pumping up your friends. Uh, That's what I'm here for. for what comes next. Winsler, the, the guy, the man, uh, Wallaby. <laughs> the powerhouse. The powerhouse. What would you like to do for your let me Let me just um, uh, get something <laughs> sorted here. Daggers, uh, are those use dexterity, Dex- right? Dexterity. Okay, that's yeah. good. All right. So oh, it's finesse. It's finesse. You can use dexterity or strength. Okay. So how does the how does the horned golem look so far? Like what's uh, what shape is it health? in right now? It looks uh, about middling. Uh, it has a very large gash in its back. Uh, you heard a bunch of its wires just split and broken, Winsler. Uh, the eyes are almost like blinking, almost like emergency lights. Uh, and it did drop you. Its grasp seems to be shaky. All right, let's see how it handles this. So I'm going to attack it with my dagger. But first, I'm going to drive this dagger into its leg. Okay, absolutely. And you then like, I'm going to attempt to make a second attack while climbing up and into its shoulder. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Make your attack rolls as you like put your, uh, you grab the dagger, put your palm on it like you're going to drill it into something and just stab it into the thigh. Uh, you hear potentially metal screech in part. <laughs> Let's see what the first Let's attack see. is like. Yes. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Uh, so that is a, let's see. That's a 22, 22 the first attack. Hits. You This knife uh, <laughs> empowered by your bulging <laughs> muscle <laughs> and your haste. The little cheetah spots all over you. Stab it in. You hear the metal part and creak. Uh, Windsor, you pull yourself up with immense power and pull the knife out. It's like that thing in Ninja Warrior where they do the salmon ladder with the pull-ups except it's a knife. And you stab it into like the gut. All right. Uh, make Second attack, attack roll. roll. Second attack roll. That's a nat 20, baby. Oh, Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, That's okay. a nat 20, baby. Oh, you, oh my God. <laughs> you pull the dagger out and, like, leap up. You stab it where its heart ought to be, and it makes, like, a uh, kind of, like, emergent or, like, a very mechanical, like, electrical failure sound. Not like the one I made. That okay. Bird so now we have to do damage. So am I going to roll the crit uh, two twice for the dice? Do I roll every yeah, dice roll, twice? Uh, roll the crit twice for all the damage involved, and then for the first attack, it's just, just regular damage. Yes. Okay. So the it's actually not too bad for the first attack. No. It's only three dice. Oh, oh my god, you do like 2d12 as well. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's if force damage too. Fuck. Winsler also, OP, not, please like... nerf. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I didn't give him a knife yet. <laughs> <laughs> but now he does. Now, okay. now you got one. You never know when you're gonna need a knife, okay? So, so that's seven piercing. I'm not sure if that matters at all. And then we got 
13 force, so for a total 20 damage. Okay. okay. You stab it in the leg. This does so continue. It still uh, lets out an electrical, like, bo- like a dial-up sound from its Flashing mouth. explosions and sparks from my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> you pull the knife out, jam it into where the heart ought to be, crit, yada, 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 uh, damage, please. All right. So this is the first roll for the crit attack. Uh, could be, could it be, could be better. No, uh, 11. I don't think so. I think it's so. That's fourteen for the first one. Okay, that's much better. Oh, that's way better. Thirty-five d- damage. Yo. That's a total of fifty-five <laughs> yeah. damage. Um, when you pull shit, the knife Winsler. out of its leg, <laughs> you oh pull yourself up with immense strength. You pull this knife back and stab it through the chest. You feel the metal give way in a way almost like as if you're sculpting clay. Uh, this thing's chest like caves in. The knife shows through. You feel it sever those remaining like spinal wires. The knife, the tip of the knife shoots through its back. Winsor, you on its chest like you've just tackled him and stabbed him. Uh, <laughs> you fall to the ground. It's limp dead body beneath you. Uh, just completely inanimate, the eyes glow no longer, and this limp pile of metal is no longer a living sentient thing. All right, thing. so how far away is Mira from me, like, and the, Mira the tall is one? Mira is roughly 30 feet away, 35 okay. if you go around the side of the room. Okay, so in, in the in the oh, spirit shit, of being dramatic face. as hell, <laughs> um, as, as, like the, as I pull the dagger out of the horned one, yeah, uh, and as it as it as it falls, I wish to leap from the from the body and like move into tackle the tall one with my remaining two okay. attacks. Thanks, okay. by all means. You're gonna move in a straight line. Sure. Don't fall for well, it. Well, no. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. No. Don't no. make mistakes. No. Okay. With no. Like, you you uh, rage filling your brain. <laughs> you look over and see Mira. Perfectly fine, just being held by the collar, uh, <laughs> like she's in the middle of a judo match, and it's just chill. And then you think, "I'm just gonna jump," and then you stop, and you're like, "Okay, I'm still a wizard." And you I walk around me. politely the side of the room with haste, speed filling your veins. And then when you're like five feet away, you can just lash out and jump at this thing and just start stabbing uh, at its like back, like knees, creature. Uh, shoulders. Make your attack rolls, please. All right. So the first attack is gonna go for the. The forearm. Okay, where it's holding me up, absolutely. Oh shit. So that is a 24. 24 body <laughs> hits, oh my god. <laughs> what monster is this? <laughs> <laughs> Ben always has a new Ben always has a new way to just like <laughs> fuck every encounter up. <laughs> so that was the first hit, and the next hit I think I'm gonna go right for the crystal. Okay, by all means. All right. Just like stabbing it in its yeah. eyes. All right. Um, how's a non-natural twenty do you? Fuck yeah! Both Damn. of those hit, dude. Fuck. Awesome. All right. So the first attack. Yes. You stab it into the forearm. The, the knife goes crushing, clean through. You pull that out and spin it around, like holding onto its back and just stab it in the eye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, so the first attack is twenty-seven total. Okay. Jesus, crazy. Now the next attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's less good. Um, I think that's 16. Okay. So 16. that would be a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Okay. You stab it in the forearm. It's going to make a constitution saving throw to see if it has to drop Mira. It holds firm onto Mira's collar. God damn. Let you go. You jump on its back and almost like reach around and stab it in its right eye. The uh, Mira, you can see the knife goes in. The crystal d- blinks a couple times and then the light completely goes out. Winston pulls it out and then there's like b- clear fluid, not blood, but you know, the golem equivalent fluid starts pouring Oil. out down the bandage. Oil, yes, down the bandages. Uh, it is still, however, <laughs> Alive. Cool. Uh, Winsler, is that it for your turn? Um, yeah, that's everything. Uh, Winsler actually okay, gets four more attacks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, the golem, Winsler, you're still holding on to its back. Uh, Sarah, it's still gripping. Mira is still gripping you by the collar. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see it, this golden glow emanate around it. You see the crack over where its goggle was. That heals up and like the 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 split in its forearm heals up. The light of its eye does not come back online. That seems permanently broken uh, as it regains a couple of hit points uh, at the start of its turn. It is now now that it is in dire straits, it uh, with its free left hand, uh, it doesn't try to reach over its shoulder for you, Ben. Or fuck. 
for you, <laughs> Winsler. It doesn't mm. try to beat the fuck out of you, Mira. It just raises it, open palm towards the sky, and snaps its little fingers. And you see uh, in its fist form a small, it looks like a ball of a lightning that starts to form. And as it mm. as it snaps and just like opens its hand again, it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows until it is a 20-foot sphere of lightning. And then it just pushes it down onto the ground, uh, completely surrounding you, Mira Marchand, you, Winsor Walby, and itself as it uses its stored spell to cast Storm Sphere. Uh-oh. 20-foot uh, radius of circling air and lightning uh, springs into existence around your guys' feet. Um, each creature in the sphere as it appears uh, needs to make a strength saving throw. So that's you, Mira, and you, Windsor Wallaby, please. And uh, being grappled does not affect my no, saves, right? No. Okay. It's just so mobility. This is dexterity? This is strength, strength. actually. Strength? Which is good for you. A strength Bad saving throw? Me. I have proficiency in that. That is a 15 plus one. Does a 16 make it? Let me consult the tome. Uh, the okay. tome. Whoa. Uh, 16, you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that does save, yes. <sighs> okay. Just. Uh, Winds of Wallaby? 21. 21. Uh, this air and lightning whips around you. You both hold on, resilient against the growing storm. So you'll take half damage. Uh, that's only going to be seven uh, bludgeoning as like wind whips around and like little bits and bobs from the desk slam into you. Uh, then as its bonus action, it is going to cause a bolt of lightning to lash out towards uh, someone within 60 feet. Damn. It's going to target you, Winslow Wallaby, on its back. Since you're mm -hmm. within the stormy sphere, it's 20 foot uh, radius, mm -hmm. um, It's you. it has advantage against you. Okay. So, uh, does a fucking, yes, does a 25 hit. Of course it hits. It hits Winslow <laughs> of all people. Uh, so, that's going to be, oh, not that much damage, Winslow Wallaby. Not that much damage. That's going to be 17 lightning damage okay. as it cracks across your back. Uh, the f burning, tingling sensation running uh, from your shoulder and then down to your foot before exiting out onto the ground. 17. Oh, good. good. I, saved just saved okay. I just saved it. I just saved it. This burning, tingling lightning running down your spine. Almost, you're like, ah, and it almost pulls you out of your... Warrior mode. But I hold uh, fast. But you hold on your fingers white knuckled as you clench onto this thing's back. Uh, that's it for its turn. Up next is Young. I'm going to make him make a perception check. Okay. Uh, Integrity Idleberry, as you run up towards him, he's writing in his notebook and he kind of like looks up briefly and he does like a second take as he notices how close you are. And he kind of like stumbles backwards and then he's going to uh, point a hand out towards you uh, and he's going to just like wiggle his fingers a bunch uh, and you see almost like wind appear on the end of them he's going to cast the spell vortex warp upon you could make a constitution oh. saving throw for me that's my spell that's your spell <laughs> how dare Jay <laughs> young <laughs> i don't think it this really matters but that was a four uh -huh. four. Oh well, no well well integrity mira do you want to do anything no i can't Can you do it no. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Can I do anything? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. I mean, that. technically, I could <laughs> lucky it, but what's the. Uh, depends on where he's going to teleport you. Do you want to lucky or no? This is it. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but you know, you know what's You know happen. what? Yeah? Okay, there's like this part of me that's like, it would be fun to be warped somewhere. Okay, but let's do that then. No, 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 no stop. No, no. <laughs> it's happening. I'm gonna use my mechanics because I can. Hell yeah. I'm That's the correct mindset. <laughs> <laughs> my friends, my friends are in dire need of help, so I feel lucky. As space um, begins to collapse around you, you feel yourself pulled into a void of teleportation. You like, think of yourself and like, this shouldn't be happening to me. I'm way <coughs> too lucky for this. Go ahead and re-roll or roll your lucky. <laughs> it's what I've been rolling this entire time. Like I keep on rolling a 19. <laughs> so that's a 21. Perfect. Epic. Take it, this uh, space begins collapsing and you just like immediately drop as if you're doing limbo and drop to the <laughs> floor. What's happening to me? And like the, the, you see above you like by an inch, space just goes oh. and crushes. And then you see like a little rift open like right next to the statue in the purple light and it just opens. No one falls through. Maybe some dust and grime. Uh, and then Young like his eyes wide. He is going to, that was his action. 
This man has a bonus action. Mark. What a loser. Yeah. Um, that's not very helpful. Uh, in, as his, uh, he's gonna take a step back from you, Integrity, and hide behind like a pillar. Uh, he's not currently close enough for you to take an opportunity attack, but he uh, moves back and hides like behind a pillar. And he's just, you hear him let out like a ah! like little shrill squeak as he ah! uh, hi hides from you. Uh, up next, Serenip Cinderman. You have taken a step out of the purple light. The mm -hmm. noise, the hum, the drum has attenuated ever so slightly. Could you make another intelligence saving throw for me? Sure. Come on, intelligence. You're so smart. And Please. this is with like your full intelligence, not that the one to be. You're clear. so smart. You've got this. You're powerful. I got a four. <laughs> oh, no. Cinnamon, that fog ever so present continues. It maybe attenuates by another 10% if you could do math, if you could count. Nonetheless, what would you Can't like do to it. do for your turn? You are, were pinning the horned uh, golem to the wall. Windler ran through it like a train. Uh, what would you like <laughs> to do now? You're freed up. Um. So, uh, Young just kind of moved back. Uh, how far mm -hmm. away would you say that he is now? He is me? probably 40 feet away. Curses. Hiding I'm gonna, I'm gonna start marching towards him. Absolutely. Uh, you begin marching forwards, eyes locked on that pillar. I don't know if you have object permanence, but uh, you hope he's still <laughs> object permanence. <laughs> Uh, did you want to dash to just to get there fully, or are you just walking the thirty feet and that's it? Just dash and end up like right in front of him, staring right in front at of him. him. Yeah, did yeah, let's do, do that? that. Okay, yeah. And, and staring at you, look around and you just like sprint towards the target. Uh, no thought, head empty. You rush around <laughs> to the side of it and stare at him and hold your like. Wait, how tall uh, is he staff. again? He's like f five foot six. Oh god, I'm just above you him, staring He's even down. Like, crouch down a little bit. You hold this comet staff up, threatening uh, what is going to come next turn. <laughs> Integrity, I, Idlebear, your cousin has just sprinted over past you. Uh, you're kind of like limboed on the floor. You can like jump up onto your feet. Uh, what would you like to do? I am going to look at Young. Of course, hiding behind his pillar, quivering. And I am going to say. Hey, Young, what did the cleric want from the pub? Oh, my God. He looks to you, Serenap, and then he looks, he like, you see him, like, little eyes peek over. He goes, making jokes? You're making jokes right now? We're going to, I'm about to die. We're going to die. Ask me. Ask me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's divinity. And I'm going to cast. Oh, my God. Tasha's yeah. hideous laughter. Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> What is that, a wisdom save? It is a wisdom save, yes. <laughs> Fuck. Um, he got a 19, unfortunately. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to yell back, it's really funny. And I'm going to ask Silvery Barbs, asking oh, him to reroll re and take over. Amazing. Oh Amazing. God. Who gets the advantage? Uh, Integrity. Okay. Because Integrity is um, the only one who haven't given anything yet. He gets a 17. Does that do it? No. 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 <laughs> Integrity, you make this joke, and then your face sours, and then Mira goes, "It's a good joke!" and yells from the other side of the room, and he just like shakes, and, he's, and he looks, I, he says, "I, I don't really, I don't, I don't get it. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't get it." If that's the case, then I would like to. Uh, Run towards some closer. <laughs> <laughs> closer. <laughs> Seraph is on like the left side of the pillar, like uh, looming over him. Negative, you can run around the right side of the pillar and loom over. Also him again. loom over him. <laughs> yes. Um, because like I know that this is not something that I can do. Like I can't tackle him. That's an action. Yes. Um, but oh uh, poised he's to a tackle. Coward, yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna loom over him, just like Sarah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You see this that big emerald amulet, amulet around his neck. Half of the crystal is now completely dull and almost like uh, drained of any color. The other half is still a bright yellow, kind of topazy color. Uh, make of that what you will. Uh, next <laughs> is Mira Marchand. What would you like to do? That is a very you are in difficult... the center of a virulent, yeah. stormy sphere, still held by the collar. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um, this is difficult because a lot of these spells are concentration, mm -hmm. and a lot of these other spells would target like mm -hmm. a human or like humanoid. Uh, mm -hmm. But so, the only humanoid seems to have that crystal. Yeah, I can still try. You could. 
I could also do a classic. I could do a classic level one spell. Oh, I, I, I kind of want a psychic lands, but I'm also not sure if that would work. <laughs> you know, sometimes the classics are just good. Yeah. To be clear, he yeah. would also have a bit of cover from you since he is hiding. Yeah. So. Well, I, 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 with psychic lands doesn't matter because you, if you speak their name, then it just happens. Jeez. It just finds yeah. them. Well, I don't mean, well, you still have to like save, oh, but uh, yeah. um, if you can, if you, if you utter the named creature and it's in range, it becomes the spell's target God even if you can't see damn. it. Damn. Okay. It's a save. So. Fuck. Psychic glance. Do I want a psychic glance do or do you? I want to do this other thing? Yeah, I'll do, do psychic you? glance. Even if it doesn't work, I'll. My other my other option was fairy fire, which would be okay. But no, That's I want to try psychic glance. Why not? Why not? Why, why not? Uh, yeah, I. Yeah. I'm going to, I can't see Young, but I know that Young is there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to point my finger, the one that is not holding the liar, over yeah. to where I vaguely know that Young is. I'm going to think, okay, Young, hit Young. And Pow. that is going to be an int save. Intelligence? <laughs> yeah. This guy doesn't seem very smart. <laughs> No, he only works as like the lead artificer for the biggest uh, megacorp in the world. Yeah, yeah that, that doesn't mean that's shit. That's smart. <laughs> e e uh, that's not a great bonus. I thought you said Never he was smart. smart. I did say he was smart. Yeah. I rolled badly. It's a, that's the game then. <laughs> yeah. Does an 18 succeed? An 18 just barely misses. Ooh. The DC is a 19. Uh, Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Uh, oh. Because of my spell weave liar. Thank you, Delness Raytron. <laughs> thank you, Delness. Uh, so Shut up. Again. On a failed save, the target takes 7d6 psychic damage and is incapacitated until the start of your next turn. Is that okay. just going to kill him? <laughs> All right, 7d6. What do we got? We got. That might just kill him. It might just kill Maybe. him. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? One. It could be anything. Two, anything could happen. Three. Anything. Four, you never know. Five, he could explode. He could just. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll turn into a cloud of bats and run away. <laughs> I only have five D6 here, so I'm just going to Google. Random. <laughs> two D6. <laughs> that's great work. Okay, I, get, I got a four and a six okay. on my Google. So wow, that's, that's fantastic. Plus. These five D6. Holy shit. Okay, that is. Three, four, three, five, and one. So let me just add those up. Of course. One. Yeah, that is sixteen. So that 16? is twenty-six total. Twenty-six and damage. incapacitated into of twenty-six course. damage, psychic, and incapacitated until the start of my next turn. Point out this finger, very casually pointing over the shoulder of the golem who's been holding you for like uh, 30, 10, 15, 20 <laughs> seconds. Uh, a pink <laughs> lance of energy. Whoosh, shoots out from your finger and from your uh, musical shit. Uh, it flies around, Whoa, does a little spiral twirl, and it shoots straight up in the air, and then comes down directly through his like shoulder clavicle region. You hear uh, Zaranup and uh, Integrity very loud due to your proximity, but Mira, so 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 far away, it's a bit dull. He goes ah uh, as he screams at the top of his lungs. Uh, you. you Mm, integrity and Saranath see that gold shimmer go around his body. Mir Marshan, the golem in front of you, shimmers gold as well, as it seems they take that damage uh, in spades or together. Um, but he is still incapacitated. Uh -huh. Incapacitated. Yes. <laughs> uh, is that it for your turn? That is it for my turn. Okay, okay. So much math. God, I love combat. <laughs> <laughs> Winsler, the righteous wallaby. justice and death, so <laughs> yeah, I shall still, bring still to you to this guy, this golem's back, uh, with a knife in your hand. What would you like to do? We're gonna stab again. We're gonna the attack other the golem. We're gonna Absolutely. continue stabbing it until it falls over, broken. <laughs> Make your <laughs> four attack rolls. All right. Well, first I'm gonna do I'm first I'm gonna do one attack, which means you do two attacks. Of course. First to see if it lives. Action, if it does live, then I will kill it. Okay. Of course. Of course. Mm. How's an 18? 18 slams into this thing's eye like no, like it's butter, Winsler. Okay. Whoosh, the now other for the second cracks. attack. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. How's a 17 do you? 17 just hits as well, Winsler. All right, all right, Pull the knife right. out and then like stab it in the forehead as well for good measures. Go ahead and roll all your damage. So the first attack, the first attack is... 24. Okay, Winsley, you stab this thing in the eye. Mir, you see the same thing. Uh, the eye blinks out, and then oil, like, tears begin to pour out of this poor golem's face. Sicko mode. <laughs> sicko, literally <laughs> sicko mode. Uh, the next one is a, a humble 20 damage. A humble 20 damage. Uh, where does this, where do you stab it to kill it, Winsley? Ooh. With the second life swing. Right through the chest. Right through the chest. You pull it out of the eye, and then, 
lean over your little muscular arms. Like you can see Winslow's fucking shoulders and triceps popping out, threatening to <laughs> rip his robes out. Uh, you see him lunge over and just stab this thing in the chest just the same way he killed the other one. He knows how to make him, he knows how to kill him. <laughs> and he slashes across the chest. Uh, the thing falls limp, it lets go of your collar. Winslow, you fall in a heap on it. The, the, the rage and blood lust filling your very, very clear and uh, wizardly and uh, analytical <gasps> mind. Uh, with him dead, Integrity out of Barry, Sarah Cinderman, you see the amulet around Young's neck. The other side of the topaz fades, and then you hear the emerald, the gem just crack. You see a massive crack go down the center of it, and he's just like shaking at this point and looking up at the two of you. Uh, and he's, Winsler, I'm sorry to do this to you, but he puts his hands up. He goes, I, I surrender, I surrender, please, 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 please. And clasps his hands together. We're out of initiative, but Damn you could it. kill him if you wanted to. <laughs> I was about to say, is, is Sarah Neff still in the right mind yet? Would like, be the first time. Could could this be the moment of like Sarah Neff doesn't hundred percent know what's going on? Can't no. understand language you, yet. Sarah Neff doesn't understand surrender. Winslow's yeah. just I'm stomping, gonna, gonna, stomping Winslow, on over. You, you like the footfalls heavier than they should be. Begin to stomp over. Mira, you unruffle your shirt and kind of like examine your arm. I would presume, and you can also, yeah. if you would like, begin to make your way over. Sheriff, yeah. you like. I would raise. like to bring my comet staff above my head, and I want to swing it Absolutely. down at him. Uh, integrity, you see. Seraph, like a like a barbarian caveman, uh, <laughs> lift lift the staff towards Young. He like cowers away. Goes, no, Never I you. said I surrender. And like makes himself as tiny language. as possible. Is there something that I can do about this? Let her bonk I, him. I, there's something I can do if she makes her attack roll, but I can't do anything yet. <laughs> well, or cutting words, or cutting words. depending on the I will she watch. She raises the staff. Winsler flexes in the corner. Mira walks over <laughs> analytically. Integrity, what do you want to do? Okay, I think understanding mm -hmm. that Sarah is not in her right mind, yep. and I don't want to put an additional burden yes. on her. Yes. I'm gonna go in front. Just like duck in front, hold the staff out of the way. Seraph, your your cousin, your cousin, you see your cousin, you understand. Cousin. Maybe you know this lady. You Family. Feel affection, cousin, cousin affection. friend. I'm not gonna hurt my friend. I, I lower, I lower her staff. This. Do you say anything to her? Hang on. He surrenders. I surrender. And I'm going to. Serenep just hears the peanuts at all. Serenep, I'm sorry, cousin. Pleading with you. Pleading with you. You don't understand the words. What is words? I don't know what words are. Wah, 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 wah. As I um, go in front of Young mm -hmm. and sort of block yes. Young away from Serenep's the staff. Impact. Yes. Um, may I also tie his hands with normal rope. Chill. One thing at a time here. You okay. <laughs> you um, rush. Stop Sarah from swatting. Sarah, you lower, I presume. You tell me what you do. Um just smack. So like I'm staring down at this little guy and I know that he's been mm -hmm. trying he's trying to hurt us. I just bring it up cousin appears in front of me and I'm like, family, friend. I can't hurt my friend. And I lower my staff at my side and just kind of stare at her as she tries to talk. Yeah, Winsler and Amira, you walk over as well. Uh, in integrity, you turn. You, you see him like fishing through his robes and he pulls out that little remote and he goes, click, and clicks it and then throws it away from him. Uh, you see the purple light, Mira, you can turn around. You see the purple light of that statue fade and attenuate. The counterclockwise spinning butterflies resume their clockwise spinning. And Serenaf, just like a headache crosses over you and your brain begins to like re-piece itself together. As the female May I mind. pick up the remote just Absolutely. to make sure that? Absolutely, Mira Marshawn, you walk I'll just, over. I'll just like use my mage remote. hand or whatever to grab it. And... It looks like a like Jetson's little remote with like oh a little God. dangly antenna, a big red button. <laughs> That's cute. You stick it in a Love robe, it. and as all of you crowd around, young, him, his arms up in a thankful kind of like almost like his uh, partially torn between like oh my God, I'm about to die, and then hands held in like a thanking expression. That's where we'll end this episode of Trials and Trebuchets. Oh. Carla, could you give us an outro, no, please? No, because his hands are not <laughs> tied. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Hope that you all enjoyed that episode of Trials and Trebuchets. Did you poop your pants? Because I surely did. What? <laughs> huh? Carla? Carla, you please went to the bathroom. Leave, please, please leave a rating or a review on our iTunes or wherever you listen to this podcast. Five stars. If not, you can also leave a comment and be like, Wow, I'm glad that that 
ended well. I'm glad I shot my pants during this episode. <laughs> How did you know? We also have an Instagram at Trials and Trebs yeah. where you can give us a follow. Um, we also have want. a Discord server. It's you great. can follow us there and Go you there. can talk with a bunch of people who listen to this episode mm-hmm. and people who don't but just love the vibes. Yeah. Um, the link is down below. Yes. We also take um, donations through two different forms. Donations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One is through Patreon. Be part of our patreon.com slash trials and trebs. What do they get there? Bloopers. Patron NPCs. DM notes. notes. Lots of really cool C&C things. C&C early. Bloopers. Thank you. And we also and. have a merch store Whoa. that hasn't been updated because that shit's hard to do. <laughs> But there will be Trebmerch.com. Stay Trebmerch. tuned. Com. Follow us on Instagram or go to the Discord server if you want updates when stuff restocks or if there's new things which should be coming in the new season. Um, is that it, Carla? Um, I think that's everything. That's it. If Thank not, you, everyone, for listening to this sorry. week's episode. Until we s- talk to you next week. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. We don't really talk to you. We just yell at your ears and we force you to listen to us <laughs> because if not, I don't. I just have a void inside my heart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good. Thank you.